Okay guys, beginner workout, day two, quads and glutes. What the heck are those, Gemma? Quads, front of the thigh, glutes, your booty, okay? So then just start marching it out. Now, I'm doing a very, very brief warm up, but if you wanna go for a walk around the block, or if you have a treadmill, jump on your treadmill for a few minutes, or you're in your um, indoor bicycle, jump on that for a few minutes, you can warm up any any amount of ways, okay? You can do some of the other videos, like some of the dance videos, the kickboxing videos. You can do those as part of your warm up as well. So just know that I just need you to be warmed up a little bit, okay? High knees, same hand, same knee. Okay. <coughs> I like to keep my warm ups pretty simple. Like my brain's not on yet, okay? Just move me. Okay. Don't make me think too hard, but a little bit hard because you're gonna crisscross your body. You're gonna cross your body here. All right, heel to booty, same hands, same foot. So hands on your butt, then you're gonna try and tap your heel to your palm. <coughs> now push plus it. Okay. Shake it out, shoulder circles backwards. Great big exaggerated movements here, guys. Great big movements, ha ha ha. Looking good. Okay, squats. Beginners, I want you to sit down on the edge of a chair, which means I'm not sitting back lounging, okay? I want you to sit with your booty on the very front edge of the chair. Hello, I'm not here to play with you. I'm here to do exercises. So you have to go play by yourself. This is Dre. Um, before I filmed this video, I was playing, playing chase with him with a stick, so I think he still wants to play. <coughs> okay, sit on the very front edge of your chair. Your feet are hip distance apart. I want your knees to be over your heels. So don't slide your feet back too much, okay? I'll turn sideways a little bit so you can see. Okay, so here, 90 degree angle at the knee and the hip. So if your chair is too low, your chair is too high, you won't have 90, degree, 90 degrees at the hips. So try and find a chair or a surface that is about 90 degrees, okay? From here, I'll turn here again so I can stand up without hitting my face on the bar. I just want you to stand up and sit down, okay? Now notice I am leaning forward to stand up. What I don't wanna see is that you push the knees forward and come up, okay? That's dangerous for the knees. So I'm gonna turn, actually, I'll turn this way so I don't hit my head in the bar. Can you see me? Yes. On the front edge of the chair, I'm leaning forward and standing up. And then I'm leaning back forward to get my booty sticking out to sit down. What you'll see sometimes is people will push their knees forward and stand up, and that is just so dangerous for your knees. So I want you to lean forward, stand up, lean forward, and sit down very slowly and controlled. So try not to plop yourself down, because you're not using any muscles that way, right? You're just plopping down. Try and use your muscles to control yourself sitting down. Nice and controlled. Now, if balance is an issue for you, you can totally hold on to something, okay? You can hold on to something in front of you. If I could be here, I could hold on to the bar and do it. Still taking all the cueing notes, but using something for balance. There is always a way, guys. Guys, every exercise, every single exercise has modifications. There is always a way. So you have to do it in a way that's best for you. Okay? Now, as you get stronger, what I'd like you to try and do, and I'm gonna have to turn so I don't hit my head on the bar, is squat down and just tap your butt in the chair and come back up. Aha, extra challenging. So just tap your butt in the chair and come back up. And again, the knees stay over the heels, and I'm leaning my torso forward to counterbalance. And I'm just tapping my booty cheeks on the chair and coming right back up, so two more. Looking good. Now from there, shake it out, march it out a little bit. Have a little drink. I've got my dirt black here. Now you know that the entire challenge is based around two different product lines: the Envoy CBD and the dirt products. So the dirt, what I found, 
is amazing in my life and why I love the product so much and why I use them every single day. I have more energy. My, I'm hydrated. I'm so super hydrated on dirt, more than just drinking water. So because I'm hydrated, my skin is clearer, my hair is growing, my hair is thicker, my lashes are thicker, my nails are thicker and stronger. It's also got great um, benefits for gut health. So I have not had a tummy ache in months. I used to have tummy ache every week. That's one of my, my weak area in my body. So I no longer have tummy aches, which is amazing. I'm not missing out on life because of tummy aches. But on a cellular level, you're going to absorb more nutrients from your food and your supplements. And it is a major detoxer. I'm gonna detox from heavy metals, pesticides, toxins. And I, I didn't realize how much I had to detox, but the dirt made such a massive improvement in my body on a detoxing level. So, so many reasons why I love this. So if you're drinking it, holler at me, let me know why you love it. <coughs> and um, if you're not drinking it yet, and if you're not drinking it yet, and you want to, let me know and I'll help you figure out how to get that ordered. <coughs> my allergies are, um, pretty awful right now. The dog is doing his first molt and from dog puppy hair to big dog hair and my body does not enjoy that. So forgive the coughing. Okay, next exercise. We're going to hold on and you're going to stand on one leg. What you stand on your right leg and you're going to lean forward a tiny bit, okay? What I want you to do is take left leg back. But what I do not want you to do is arch your body, okay? I don't want you to pinch your lower back. I want your tummy tight. I just want you to take your leg back and squeeze your butt cheeks. Tummy stays tight and your torso does not move. Just squeeze your butt. Let's do five more like this. One more. And we're going to switch. <laughs> squeeze it. The dog sees the squirrels. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze that booty cheek. Pull the tummy in tight. Nice and long spine. Let's do five more. Squeeze your booty. One more. And high knees. Same hand, same knee. Dre, be quiet, baby. Come here. Now opposite hand, opposite knee. Come here. Come. Come on. All right, from here, we're gonna do those squats again, but what I'd like you to do, you're gonna put your heels and your knees together, and you're gonna keep them together. So starting out on the edge of your chair, again, heels are under your knees, you're gonna 90 degree angle at the knees and at the heel. <coughs> squeeze your knees together, squeeze your heels together. And you're gonna stand up, and you're gonna keep the knees squeezed together as you come back down, okay? Squeezing the knees together and squeezing your glutes. <coughs> you're not plopping yourself down you're slowly lowering yourself down to the chair you can use something for balance if you need to or if you are like you like I was last set I turned and faced the bar so both hands were on it totally okay now if you want more of a challenge you just tap your butt to the chair and come right back up tap your butt to the chair and come right back up and just like a tiny bit tap your butt and come back up now if you're first doing the tap without sitting you can also use something to balance to help, okay? Do what you need to do, okay? Oh, I sat down there instead of tapping. Let me tap. Let's do five more. Squeezing. Two more. One more. Good stuff, shake it out and have a drink. Okay, this time you are gonna hold on to something for balance. <clears throat> hold on with one hand. If you're holding with your right hand, your right leg is your base. Your left leg will be moving. Nice and tall and strong. Tummy tight. Shoulders back and down. Hug your rib cage down. I'm going to bend that right knee a tiny bit and squeeze your right butt cheek really tight. Bend your left knee a tiny bit and you're going to lift your leg up and bring it back down. But what I would like you to do is turn your toe in on that left leg. Turn your toe in like you're pigeon toed. Now, turn it out. Don't point it forward, but turn your toe in. So you're lifting your heel. Your heel is higher than your toe. Okay. Tall and strong. Squeeze that right butt cheek. 
Good thing you don't have to lift very high, guys. Lift the heel. If you turn your toe up, you can lift really high. I don't want that. I want you to turn the toe in and get the heel up, okay? Let's do five more. One more. And wiggle it out, because you'll probably feel that in your hips. Oh, yeah. Turn around, switch sides. <coughs> Again, pelvis is strong. Left hand is holding on, left knee is bent, squeeze your left butt cheek. Turn your right toe in, pelvis is strong, pull the core in tight, <coughs> and lift the heel up. Good. Toe is in, heel is out. Let's do five more. Are you elongated? Is your core pulling in? Heel is higher than toe. Here's three. Two, one, wiggle and shake. Oh yeah. How's that feel? Feeling good? Shake it out. I need a little sip here. Okay, one more exercise for quads and glutes. Okay, for today, I want you to hold on to something for balance. Your left leg is gonna go very, very, very far forward. Now, what I'd like you to focus on, we're gonna do lunge. When you take your right leg behind you, do not put your right leg behind your front leg, okay? You don't want to be on a tightrope. You want your back leg out to the side. You want your feet hip distance apart or a tiny bit wider, okay? So I'll do it this way so you can see for at first. So you're holding on to something for balance. Your feet are quite far apart, guys, okay? And what we're going to do is you're going to bend both knees and come back up, okay? You don't have to go far. Bend both knees, come back up. Let me show you this way. So when I bend the knees, my front knee is over my heel. I'm not gonna let that front knee go over my toe because that's gonna strain the front knee. And I'm also bending the back knee as well. Now, if your toe is turned off to the side, if your toe is pointing over there, it's gonna strain that back knee. So you wanna make sure the toes, both toes are pointing forward for this one, okay? And you're just gonna bend them a tiny bit and come right back up. Think about your shoulders being back, your chest is lifted, tummy's tight, when you go down and up. And the lower you go, the more difficult this is. You can see here. The lower you go, the harder it is. But you don't have to go very low for this to be an extremely effective exercise, okay? Whenever an exercise is difficult for you, you want to think about making the range of motion smaller. So just don't move as big. Don't make it as big of a movement. And as you get stronger, you'll be able to go bigger movements, okay guys? Let's do four more. Three, two, one more. Go shake it out. Have a little sip of your drink. Hopefully you've got your dirt black like me. Let's do the other leg and then we're done for the day on this exercise. This time right leg's in front. <coughs> Left leg is behind you and remember that back foot is not behind your front foot. They are still hip distance apart and that back heel is off the floor. And you're gonna bend both knees and come back up and that front knee stays right over the heel, okay? That front knee is not going to go forward over the toe. And remember that back toe? Where's that back toe pointing? Is it pointing off to the side? Rotate it so everything is pointing forward. Now, for those of you who are new to lunges, holding this position could be enough, okay? If it is, that's great. Stay here. Hold it. And as you get stronger, you'll be able to do some small range of motion lunges. All right? There is nothing wrong with understanding where your body is and what it needs right now. So you don't need to go all the way down if you're not ready for it. And there's no need to beat yourself up about that. You start. You start where it works for you. And then by starting, you'll get stronger and stronger and you'll be able to progress. But trying to go full force and do full range of motion for the first time is a surefire way to get hurt and fail because you can't exercise the next day or the next day if you're too hurt, okay? So you've got to check in with your body. Say, what does my body need right now in this phase of my journey so that I can continue on my journey. And go for small wins, guys, okay? Small wins, let's do a few more. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, hello. One, and shake it out. Oh, give me a great big sh shoulder circles backwards. And shake out your arms and legs. And hold on to something for balance. Option one, just bring your leg back. If you can, grab your leg. 
Try and keep your knees together and squeeze your butt to push your hips forward for a more intense stretch. Tall and strong, guys. Nice tall spine and breathe. And switch it up. Hey, Dre, what are you doing, buddy? You on the trail? You hunting something? And go ahead and sit down. And option one, you're gonna cross your right ankle over your left ankle. Option two, you're gonna cross your right leg over your left leg. Option three, you're gonna put your ankle on your knee. Okay, wherever you are, you're then gonna lean forward. So, option one looks like this, and you're leaning forward for a nice stretch back here. Option two, you're crossing, and you're leaning forward. Okay, option three, ankle on knee, lean forward. And if you want more of a stretch, you can push on that knee a little bit. Your stretches should feel nice, okay? Your stretches shouldn't feel painful or uncomfortable. If you can't take nice deep breaths in your stretches, you are stretching too much, girl, okay? <coughs> so your stretches should feel wonderful all the time. Now go ahead and cross that right leg over the left, and I want you to turn to your right. So my right leg is crossed over my left. I am turning to my right. I'm getting a little bit of a twist here. So I'm pushing my arm against my knee. I'm using the chair to pull. I'm sitting up nice and tall. My spine is straight. And I'm getting a little bit of a twist here. Feels really good on my spine. Now switch. Now we're gonna cross your left over right. So left ankle over right ankle, left leg over right leg, or left ankle on the right knee, and then lean forward and feel a really great stretch in the hips and the glute. go ahead and cross your left leg all the way over the right. So my left is crossed over my right. My left leg is on top. So I'm going to turn to the left. Pushing with my right arm. My spine is straight. My neck is nice and long. And pushing with my right arm, I'm giving my, myself a little pull with my left arm. And I'm taking notes. Yes, I'm done. I'm gonna play. Okay, you guys, this video's done. I'm gonna go play with someone. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Where's the stick? Where's the stick? Where's your stick? Where is it? Where's your stick? Go get it. Go get it. Let me turn the video off. Let me turn the video off. Let me turn the video off. Let me get it. See you tomorrow, guys.